is from a parent's perspective, mm -hmm. we've had a lot of phone calls over this period of time together. Um, could you tell me a little bit about why you think the College Soccer Guy Academy and myself was helpful through this process for Danny? Absolutely. I can't even stress enough how life-changing it was in this process. And I mean that sincerely. I mean, we went from like, I think, just feeling so lost and helpless in the process, especially with Danny taking a gap year, just seeing like the clock ticking by and like, I don't know how to help him. And, you know, and he doesn't really necessarily know how to help himself. And it just felt like a really kind of a trapped situation. So, and I love uh asking for help like that is not a problem for me so when Danny brought up the idea of like oh yes if this is going to help accelerate yes and and you met our expectations you blew our expectations out of the water because you know we didn't Danny found you on the internet like you could have been anybody but he um just every single thing that you suggested not only did it help him and I mean he got results like results right off the bat, which was so fun to see. And so uh, uh, reaffirming, but also the skills you're you helping. I'm a big, like a big proponent of, you know, you, kids need to learn all kinds of skills for life and just the communication skills that you were helping. He doesn't want to hear that from his parents, <laughs> but he will hear it from you. And, um, and I truly, truly appreciate all of that. So I just feel like it was such a well-rounded experience. It was money, way, money, way well spent. Um, and yeah, I can't say enough about it. Thank you. That makes me feel very happy. And we talk about it all often, like, yes, there's an investment made working with me. And I don't actually really talk about like the return on investment from a financial place side because we because I want I don't want anybody to go to a school particularly Danny that they don't love that like that would defeat the purpose even if they got more money however it's always lovely when we also find a school that fits our academic and athletic means and we get the type of scholarship we're getting could you just tell us a little bit or tell me a little bit about how helpful it is maybe to the family or how proud you are of Danny for getting a scholarship that will be worth eighty thousand dollars over four years well, I think, you know, to credit Danny in many ways, um, he was smart to try hard in school. Um, you know, he wasn't somebody who blew off his, you know, even in the midst of COVID being at home for two years almost, he got the GPA that, that also helped this process. And I would recommend that to all kids. Do not think you're going to, you know, slide through with a, it's not football, you know, it's, it's, you're not going to slide through with like this amazing scholarship based on your playing ability, unless you're one of the top players in the country. And I, to, I've told all three of my kids, if you can get a good GPA, you just, what you do is you open up yourself to more opportunity. And that's exactly what this did is sure. He was going to get conversations and, and talks, but it opened him up to, Way, like double or triple that, I think, based on his GPA, as well as the other things, like the whole package. And then um, uh, allow, you know, also opens you up for money that way, too. In addition, because the, the scholarship money is hard to get. It's not realistic to count on it. And um, it should not be your driver. And But the grades, you know, and we've known that for years. So I think, like, just just our experience, because we have older kids, Um and what kind of merit money is out there. But I just think like that is key is go in with the full package, try hard, get your good GPA. It will pay off. Lovely. Um, the last piece is uh, from my perspective as a parent, I've gotten to hear from Danny, obviously through this process, I work with the students primarily, but obviously with your input, could you tell just me as a parent, what specifically did you maybe find the most or one of the things you found helpful in working with, with me or with the College Soccer Guy Academy? Um, well, I think just the hands-on like mentoring because you're not just saying do this, do that. You're, you're teaching these skills and like, like I can't say enough about the communication skills. Um, <clears throat> 
But again, it's just so many things. I don't think like you could really just say one thing. That's just always something as a mom that stands out to me. Because I'm like, oh, yay, you're learning how to communicate to these adults, Mm -hmm. which is going to serve you so much next year. But just all of it, like, you know, the attention to detail, the focusing on these um, emails, um, when to send it, what to say. I think one of the biggest things for us was helping him, you helping him advocate for himself to his own coaches um, which is something that has been not scary because not scary, scary because of the type of, of environment that it is. You know, Danny is typically pretty good about talking to adults, but that environment is just does not lend to it. You don't know really what the rules are, how you can do it. And I think you pushing him to do that was absolutely critical to this process. I think uh, with Danny and I talked about that too, like with, this in this scenario and this is like a celebratory meeting so this is super fun now is we often think like a a person who's helping somebody in the college recruiting process only job is to quote unquote connect them and many them many of those types do that but i find that in addition to that piece which is important but more important is like as you explained if i can help the student take the tools that they have before them like in danny's case like we had we had his coaches and he came from a good club pushing, I want to play at this tournament, as you said, or can you follow up with this coach? That piece of it, I agree. I thought that was like really helpful for Danny and I think we'll apply that in college. The other thing I would just say to your point about the communication is like it was the nuance that was difficult. Like Danny would text me, whatever, at midnight and it would be like – and I'd wake up early the next morning to respond because you guys are on the East Coast and it would be like, oh, no, just slightly phrase it like this and it would just help you know, hopefully keep the – the fish on the line per se, because otherwise the coach might not respond. And it's really small nuanced stuff. So amazing. That's really exciting. Oh, go ahead. Okay, I was just going to say one more thing. It clear, you know, there again, like there's so many things I could probably sit here forever because I was truly super impressed with the information you gave. But um, <clears throat> the ways that you formatted the, the initial emails with putting in the subject line, like to me, it was like a duh. I mean, I'm a communications person. <laughs> Would have never thought of that and what kind of attention that probably really helped to just set him above and beyond um, so many other emails that come in. I mean, all the important information is right on the top. And so that was fantastic. And then, of course, the video as well. Yeah, the video too. Look, if it, <laughs> I struggled myself so much through it and including as a pro in my pro career. So it's lovely. My, I was talking to my mom about it actually the other day. That it's so nice that all of the coaches that I had stress over, just like Danny did, that I, I I never thought I would, I knew I would use it, but like I didn't know I would get to use it in such a close way with somebody like Danny. You know, mm-hmm. I'd set it offhand to whoever I was playing next to, but it's so nice to think that the torture that I went through at least now is going to help like Danny and ho- and some other students as well. So that's great. Thank you for that. It's It's been wonderful. And then I'll just end with this is... He's going to have, you know, other things come up and Danny, so you don't, I don't want you to be a stranger. Um, if you have other questions, Absolutely. if you're in college and you're like, I'm not playing or what, you know, it's the same, it's actually not as complicated as the recruiting process because we're going to be in one place, but yeah. it's also not that different. How do you bring up to the coach that you want to play more minutes? How do you know, you know, I, like I told you, I'm still playing now. So like, it's not like I'm not dealing with it myself on a daily basis and your teammates and how do you deal with that and then we do have school so don't be a stranger so one last thing danny i'm gonna ask for a favor i have now what's called a college soccer guy academy so i help students like yourself but i don't work with everybody one-on-one that's like particular students like yourself but in the academy i try and take on more students and i'd love for you to do a guest come on a guest and kind of be like hey exactly exactly want you to be (laughs) you're the star now and uh we'd love for you to come and talk about your experience and go this is this is what helped for me. And if you're open to it, which we can talk about later because you're going to be studying business, is you can explain to them because there's mo- a lot of business majors in there. You know, how does the college talk recruiting process relate to business? And all we did for you was email marketing, highlight video link, you know, it was the exact same as starting a business. So I think yeah. they'd really enjoy hearing from you um, and you could give them some feedback down the line. Yeah, I'd be interested in that. Well, like, is that something where it would be like just recorded? And you'd show it to people or I'd join a Zoom. It's up to – I mean I was thinking you would join a Zoom is what I, I would have you do. Okay. If you, because I'd like for them to be able to like talk to you and be like, oh. So basically yeah. it works like this. 
I set out a Zoom. I have three, we have two meetings a week. And basically, I work with like 10 to 15 students at one time.